My name is Bob Usman. I am the Director of Business Development for the western part of the United States for Roush Yates Manufacturing Solutions. I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, our relationship with Haas and Haas machine tools that we use in our facility. We approached Haas to uh, help in machining the components that go into the FR9 engine that, uh, that we race in NASCAR. There are over 847 components in that engine, of which 40% of those components we touch here at Roush Yates Manufacturing Solutions. To be able to tell a bit, a bit of a story of uh, uh, the success story that we have with Haas Automation, um, Prior to our relationship with Haas, all of our cylinder heads were ported with a particular style and design of machine and a process that we had set that was very, very successful. Um, when we brought in the new Haas UMC 750P, we, we requested that our engineering department consider using that machine for porting of cylinder heads for our FR9 engines. And it, and it was a challenge. Mark Terryberger came in, sat down with, with Rodney. Mark and Rodney put their heads together. The cylinder heads flowed better and produced more power than any of the other cylinder heads that we had produced using the previous CNC manufacturer. And the collaboration turned it into the, the CNC machine that is the choice of doing all the porting now. Haas carried us forward there. We were able to take the five axis machines we have, again the UMC 750 and the UMC 1000, and use those to produce parts for our aerospace and defense efforts. Uh, and we've been very successful with that. We're, we're very impressed with the performance of the Haas machines to produce these parts. Haas in California, has, along with their resellers, done a great job of giving us the equipment, the tools, and the expertise to be able to maintain these machines and keep them running, uh, and in many cases run them lights out now with co full confidence that they can produce the parts. As the components that go into race engines, the components that go into aerospace and defense uh, engines and, and structures, as they become more sophisticated, we have to be able to respond with more sophisticated machining capability. And the days of making parts on three-axis machines are slowly going away and they're migrating to multi-axis and simultaneous multi-axis like five-axis machining. 